tips on installing I'm gonna have some clips on the um, installation process what I did what I used um, and hopefully that'll help you guys I decided to do this hairstyle on a whim um, and I wanted to do kind of the Marley style but I opted to not use the Marley hair because I wanted it long but I just wanted something that was a little bit s smoother and I felt like the Marley hair at a longer length was going to really irritate the hell out of my neck because that hair is very very coarse and rough and textured um, kind of like my hair just yeah I wasn't feeling that so I opted to um, do this style of twist I thought it was going to be a lot larger but the amount of hair that I used um, gave me these I would say large twists but this style took me approximately seven hours um, from start to finish watching TV going from watching TV to the mirror in my bathroom back and forth back and forth and I used a total of four packs of hair the amount of packs will be based on the amount of hair per section I will show you guys how I installed the twist as well as give you guys a couple of tips that were helpful for me um, with the installation there are several great tutorials on um, the Marley um, or Havana twist or the Senegalese twist with the invisible um, with the invisible start um, I did do something similar to that but I modified it making it a little bit easier for the installation because the hand coordination with twisting on twisting with both you know hands and stuff can get a little you know tricky for your mind and hands to do all of that I'm just <laughs> hello so the hair is very very lightweight um, and rather than doing this style on hair that was completely freshly washed and conditioned um, I had washed my hair um, a week prior Con you know I deep conditioned and washed it a week prior and my hair was stretched and because I wanted the smoothest finish that I could get I wanted my hair to be stretched and I didn't want to blow dry my hair so I opted to just install the twist on my already stretched hair and not you know first or second day after washing because you know you got a little bit more kink if I use the Marley hair I wouldn't have had that concern I do really enjoy this brand of hair it's by Rasta free braid for the people freedom silky braid now they have two versions of this one is very very uh straight and one is a little bit um more textured it's not your traditional kanikalon black and gold um brand of hair that feels very plasticky this feels very um soft and fluffy um similar to uh soft and fluffy blown out natural hair another brand of braiding hair I'm sure you can get this same look you don't need to buy this particular brand but it uh, snags a lot less than other brands of hair it's very um, easy on your fingers when braiding of hair where I bought it is about three dollars a pack I don't know what's going on but synthetic hair is going up in price too I'm used to the two for five but anywho I've gotten several compliments on this hair in my out and about life and I really like it I'm, I'm almost kind of like oh yeah this is gonna be a little signature look for a while because I feel like it's um it's very easy it's very uh, quick of a style to do and install based on the size of the braids and it's easy for me to uh, maintain the style I just tie a silk scarf satin scarf on my head and go to bed hair up I haven't styled it I've been rocking you know my you know Jamaican girl to I just feel like Patra okay queen of the pack like what money what great money I haven't seen it all <laughs> oh, I need a worker man is that what's it, what's it called worker man mm. Mm. <laughs> nah anyway
anyway I just love the hairstyle so if you have questions about this hairstyle leave them down below um, okay now I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this look there are several tutorials but I'm gonna show you guys what I did as well as hopefully give you some helpful tips that will make this installation easier so I just showed you guys the approximate size of the section and I'm misting or moisturizing this section that I'm working on doing a little finger detangling applying a butter as well as a gel the gel I only used um, in the very front and my edges as well as the very ends of my hair just so my natural hair does not stick out so you can see I'm kind of smoothing the product there and then I separate that section into two parts now I'm using a section of hair that's about the width of two fingers and I'm going to place it uh, directly on top of the two sections of my natural hair and once I have it secured I'm going to zoom in and show you I'm going to take one section and start twisting it what way is that is that counterclockwise uh, counterclockwise once I have it secured I'm then going to twist I don't twist both sides I find that that requires a little bit more hand and mental coordination than I am capable of um, and I still get a pretty decent look and the twists are very secured and here I'll show you just the look that you get I didn't have to twist both sides and it is fresh neat and very natural looking also do not plan on washing my hair while well, in this particular style only because I already know that with this style with this size and with the state of my hair when I initially installed this um, hairstyle if I was to go co-wash my hair in the shower my natural hair would shrink up in these twists. I just, I just know it. I'm just going to cleanse my scalp with a natural astringent and moisturize the length of my hair. And I'll probably wear this style no longer than maybe a month, month and a half. You are looking for tutorials, um, additional tutorials on how to install, you can look up um havana twist how to senegalese twist how to this style is um closely resembles senegalese twist so if you want a similar style to this then you want to um youtube senegalese twist okay all right so anyway i'm loving it i got the length it's perfect for working out it's easy to do and i think that it's an gorgeous gorgeous style um i think that braids braids twist same thing <laughs> braids and extensions are just one of the beautiful arts of our culture so anyway i love it and um hopefully you guys like it too let me know what you guys think of the style i know you guys on instagram love it i love it um yeah so anyway i'll talk to you guys on the next video bye hugs let me talk to my ladies. No matter what they say, their opinions here to stay.